Hey everybody, welcome back. We're focusing on the wrist today. The wrist itself is not a traditional joint in the sense of the ball and socket. It's actually just a bunch of small bones kind of in this bag. So for us, we wanna make sure that we're getting all of the range of motion that we can. Wrist mobility will also help dictate your outcomes when it comes to upper body exercise. For example, if you don't have enough adequate wrist extension, probably not gonna go as well for things like push-ups, crawling, and handstands. So part of restoring range of motion is practicing what you have, and that's what we're doing with this series. So let's go ahead and get into our controlled articular rotation for the wrist. All right, let's go ahead and get some practice with the wrist. Go ahead and take your right wrist, put it up like this. You bend your elbow, kind of keep your body stiff. So again, irradiate some tension so we have no motion except the, the intended joint that we want to move. Imagine that you have a glass of water on your um, forearm, okay? Put your fingers together, keep them together the whole time. Go ahead and start with flexion. So pull your palm towards your body, perfect. Once you're there, adduct towards the center. As you make that motion, park into extension, find full extension and then abduct, which isn't a lot of range of motion, but it's some towards the outside and back into flexion. Let's get one more repetition in that direction. Nice and easy. Again, just trying to express full range of motion in that wrist. And then let's get one or two reps going the other way. Slow, contemplate the quality of your circle. It's a lot of shaking. A lot of shaking because you're trying not to move anything else. Awesome. In an attempt to try to get more range of motion, uh, we let our elbow rotate, right? Well, we just worked on the elbow, right? If you saw last video, we worked on the elbow already. So we want to kind of keep that isolated. That's why we try to imagine there's an object there and we don't want to move it. Yeah. The other thing that happens is sometimes the people's body leans. We also see that the fingers will move too. So if I start here and then I start to oh, bias yeah. my fingers a little bit to make it easier. So keep that in mind. Let's try just at the same time, double wrist cars. I don't like doing these for a lot of people because the wrist is already so hard, but it's actually an interesting challenge. Now that you have all those compensations in mind, see if you can keep it. So we'll go double wrist. Let's start off with flexion. Adduction towards the center. Pull back towards the outside. Abduct again. And then reverse. Same thing. Try to keep the uh, forearms from rotating. Keep the fingers straight. Try to express as much range of motion as you can. All right, so that concludes our upper body section. Check out the next video to see what we do for the lower body.